What's up, guys? shit all right so today on another episode we are gonna show you or I'm gonna show you what's in my gym bag so first of all this gym bag is universal as you can tell got the universal guy on it uh, I've been through many bags in my life and in my career so um, I think my girlfriend got this bag for me at bodybuilding.com I had an Under Armour one before. All my stuff in it was stolen right out of my car. So she got me this one. It's a little bit smaller. Um, it zips. It has the option for two handles and also has the option to put the strap around um, your shoulder. All right, let's get started. First and foremost, I want to, I carry this little foam roller, rumble roller thing. It was five bucks. Um, it's nice to use when you're at home or when you're at a gym, it doesn't have a foam roller. Um, so that's good to have just in case the gym doesn't have one. I got a hat in here just in case, I don't know, whatever, a hat for a bad hair day maybe. Um, secondly, let's see, we got shoes, got my um, power lift threes in here, my squat shoes because I just had leg day yesterday, so those are still in there. I have a couple extra shirts that I keep, just in case um, what I'm wearing maybe gets sweaty or I wanna change my shirt or whatever it may be. Next, we have the book. Keep all my lifts and my progress and my notes and what I'm feeling that day and everything else in there, so that's good to keep, just to keep yourself on track. We got my pre-workout, which the label fell off. I don't know where it is, but you guys saw it. Um, it's the EAS lemon berry pre-workout mix. And headphones. I got three pairs of headphones. I got wireless ones, wireless buds. I have these big honking ones. The ones that go around, these are nice for like when you're wearing a hat or a hood, you can kind of just throw them on, whatever. And also, just in case um, the wireless ones do die, my girlfriend has a set of regular, just regular old wire headphones in here that she uses when she comes with me. And if the headphones are dead and I'm waiting for them to charge, I throw on those while I'm waiting. Alright, this is just... A disclaimer: This is what it's. This is what's in my gym bag right now at the moment. Um, this isn't what I always keep in here, and there there are stuff that I'm that I don't have right now that I usually keep in here, like BCAs. I'll keep in here because I'll have them during training, on my training days. But, anyways, so should organize this. But next we have a different uh, a variety of different resistance bands. The blue one is the highest. Uh, the red one I don't really use, and the yellow one I use all the time just to stretch out shoulder mobility, um, you know, this and this and, you know, different things. So I, I use the yellow one every single day. Um, not so much on leg days, but on every upper body day I use it. And I keep them in there because when I compete, I bring my bag with me backstage and I use the different types to, you know, pump up or, and whatnot. Next, we have a charger, spare phone charger, just in case. Um, this is actually for the headphones, too. So if my phone's dying at the gym, I'll plug it in and say I'll use my wireless headphones, you know, on my phone's charging or vice versa. I'll use the wired headphones on my phone while I'm charging my headphones on this at the gym. All right. What we got next in here, we got wrist straps. Uh, these are by Rip Tone, just your basic... Um, you know, basic wrist. I use these for uh, lifts that tend to, where my grip gives out first rather than the muscle. Basically when I'm just holding on to stuff, trying to work a different muscle. So say straight leg deadlifts or shrugs or rack pulls, anything like that. Um, 
or I feel like I'm using my bicep too much in, in the movement, I will throw these on and try to get, um, you know, try to get more back involved or if I'm, like I said, if I'm just trying to hold on to something like I'm doing straight leg deadlifts or something and I'm just focusing on holding the bar and I'm trying to feel it in my hamstrings and I'm not really worried about, you know, holding onto the bar, I'm more worried about trying to, you know, put the tension on my legs then, you know, I'll wear these. And for a couple other different movements, I don't use them a lot. I don't have Versa grips or anything like that, but I've been using straps for a really long time and you know, they're my go-to. These ones are pretty long. They wrap around the bar a couple times, which I like. It gives you nice security. Uh, what do we got? Oh, next we got chalk. Bag of chalk in here. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's, it's just like a chalk ball, they call it. It's just like a pack. And you just, I get in there and I go, you know, get my hands all chalked up. The, the sad thing about it is my gym actually doesn't allow chalk, but. All right, next we got, oh, can't forget this. You need a lifting belt. This one's by Chic. I, I think you guys have seen this in my videos before. I had to cut two holes. So this is where it ends, and I had to cut two holes further back because uh, this is a large, I believe. Yeah, this is a large belt. So when I'm, especially when I'm dieting and when I'm cutting, I use, um, I, I usually take like a medium belt, but this is fine. It was, I think it came from uh, bodybuilding.com. I did have an insert belt, but like I said, it got stolen in my bag. You know, that I was telling you guys about before. What else do we got? I also keep some gum in here just because I like to um, I like to chew on gum. Helps me focus and, and keeps my workout um, I'm mentally prepared. This is the wrapper for the pre-workout. Uh, this is L-carnitine. 500 milligrams. I don't take this all the time. It's it's um, one of those things along with BCAs that I kind of just, you know, when I can afford it, I buy it. These are 30 tablets, 500 milligrams. I think this thing was about eight bucks. It's the Spring Valley. Uh, and like I said, I, I don't, I don't necessarily, you don't need it to cut, but I do like having it when I cut just for that extra fat burning sensation. And, um, you know, I don't, it's it's not my top three or top five supplements. I just like to have it, like I said, especially when I'm cutting, I don't. And what else do we have in here? I have an extra phone, just in case, you know, I need music or my phone dies or whatever. Just, it's always nice to have. Uh, have my girlfriend, she has an extra phone in here too. Same thing, uh, pens, just in case, you know, my pencil dies in my notebook. Some socks, which is always <laughs> nice to have, just in case your feet get wet, I guess. And last but not least, we have this guy, which is probably my favorite thing in this bag. Um, hands down is my lacrosse ball. I've probably gone through half a dozen of these. Um, you can get them at Dick's. I got this at Dick's Sporting Goods for probably a couple bucks. Um, if you guys don't know, it's it's for your shoulder. You rub it. Um, you go in. You put this on your shoulder in between a wall or whatever on the ground. It's good for your your hips and your shoulders. I do it on my rear delts. I do it on my you know. I do it on my chest. Roll it across my chest every you know every single day get it on my shoulders and it's it's great for when you're um you're tight and you want to get loose um you know all that lactic acid builds up in there and it's it's very nice to get in between you know some of the the heads and the delt so savior right here I don't know I don't know if I could even after using this every single day that I work out even on leg days um, I don't know if I could not use it just because 
it's it's such a savior guys I, I promise if you don't have one of these go get it it is definitely worth the 250 or whatever it's amazing and it's it becomes it has become a staple in my workouts um it, it almost feels unnatural if I don't if I don't do this before I work out it it just kind of throws me all off it just becomes it be, part of my routine you know what I mean so go ahead spend the extra couple bucks to get this save yourself save your shoulders you know save your health and um, this will definitely benefit you in the long run all right I think that is it besides for my card to get in the gym obviously and I do have a pack of granola here this is <laughs> this is more just my my gym was giving out free granola and I decided to throw a couple of these bags in there just for when I'm on the go or whatever I don't have a meal or I'm at the gym and I'm kinda um, I might not have anything to eat for a while and my pre-workout's wearing off and just kind of an intra carb. I know it's not the best. Uh, I usually bring a banana with me, but this is last resort, you know, ran out of everything. I don't have anything left and I'm, you know, starving or, you know, I can't make it through the workout. So this, that's in there. And I think that's it, guys. Like I said, this is just what's in my bag right now. Uh, there are a couple other things I keep in here, like I said, BCAs, um, different resistance bands just in case. Uh, I'll usually keep an extra pair of shoes in here, Converse. Like I said, I have these, uh, my squat shoes in there from leg day last night. And um, foam roller, just a little one, just to get, you know, this is big enough to like roll on your back roll on you know each leg single and just get the triceps and the lats oops and you know maybe you can get the chest with it but a lot of my um, foam rolling just includes legs in the back and the glutes um, sometimes I'll do my triceps sometimes I'll do my biceps but most of the time I hit my shoulders and my chest and all the little stuff with this just because excuse me it's easier to get the, the smaller muscles, like I said, in here with the lacrosse ball than it is with this. This is good for larger muscles, like I said, the back and the legs. So that's in there. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah. Basically, and I'll always bring, obviously, I'll always bring water with me. And my shaker cup I usually keep in here, too. Uh... For my pre-workout, I keep two in here. One for my pre-workout to mix and one because I usually bring powder, protein powder, and a banana, like I said, in a, a shaker cup already. And then when I get to the gym, you know, I'll fill it up or I'll, I'll mix it before I go and I'll bring it with me. So I'll have two, my green one and my purple one. Purple one's for pre-workout, green one's for after. Um, I just made a protein shake last night. So I don't have it in here, but I will throw it in there before I go to the gym today. We're going to hit back. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's what's in my gym bag right now.